What makes you you and what makes an object the same object over time? These questions seemingly simple have perplexed philosophers for centuries. Delve into the depths of the philosophical conundrum known as the ship of Theseus and explore its implications on human identity. Imagine a ship, the ship of Theseus, an ancient Greek vessel meticulously maintained with every worn out part replaced over time. If every piece of this ship is eventually replaced, is it still the original ship of Theseus? Now, imagine another scenario. Each of the original parts, once removed, are collected and used to build a second ship. Is this second ship, constructed from the original parts, the true ship of Theseus? Now apply this paradox to ourselves. The human body, much like the ship, is in a constant state of flux. Cells die and new ones are born, effectively replacing every part of us over time. Does this process make us a different person? Or are we still fundamentally the same despite the constant physical change? And what if we take it a step further? What if our organs once removed are transplanted into another body? Do they carry a piece of our identity with them or do they assimilate into the new body surrendering their previous identity? The ship of Theseus paradox challenges our understanding of identity and change. It raises questions about the nature of objects and beings over time. It underscores the fluidity of identity, highlighting how it can be contingent on the continuity of physical parts or the persistence of some underlying essence. To summarize, the ship of Theseus presents a philosophical dilemma about the persistence of identity over time. It questions whether an object or being retains its identity after all its parts have been replaced. When applied to humans, it pushes us to contemplate our own identity, its fluidity, and the role of physical continuity in maintaining it. In the end, the paradox leaves us with more questions than answers. It serves as a reminder that identity, whether of a ship or a human, isn't just about physical components. Perhaps it's about the story we tell, the memories we hold, and the experiences that shape us. After all, aren't we all in a way, ships sailing through the sea of life, continually changing, yet striving to remain the same?